Ashley Ruiz. Good morning, friends. It is 6.53 on this last day of 2020 and a beautiful sunrise, a cotton candy sunrise, if you will. We had some showers move across the area, and I know it's quiet now, but as the day goes on, especially now that we are seeing some sun, even though the sun is coming up, we could see strong to severe thunderstorms around lunchtime and therefore after. So I'm going to break it down for you hour by hour in just a minute, but I just wanted to share that beautiful sunrise with you guys a few spotty showers overnight and into the early morning hours and again as the day goes on we're going to get that uh, fuel to see showers and thunderstorms pop up it's looking like they'll begin to pop up around lunchtime give or take an hour or so and then as we head through the afternoon and evening that's when we will have that window of opportunity for strong to severe thunderstorms to develop and move across the area right around midnight I, that's when I am thinking the, uh, the bulk of the rain will be exiting the area, but that's not to say we're going to be completely dry. I still think a few showers will be around, so I would plan accordingly, but be sure you have multiple ways to receive warnings today and tonight. So uh, I know it's New Year's Eve, but be sure you have this in the back of your mind that there could be strong to severe thunderstorms. So whether you're staying at home or going somewhere else, be sure you know where to go if a severe thunderstorm warning or tornado warning is issued for your area. So the BR Proud weather app and just download the free BR Proud app online on the Apple uh, and Google Play Store you'll be able to get those alerts pushed to your phone. So looking at the enhanced risk, that is a level three out of five on the scale for the threat for damaging winds and tornadoes. So both of those threats are about equal for today. So the ingredients are there for uh, damaging winds to occur and then tornadoes to occur with any storm that develops today. I'm not expecting a flooding threat, but we could have some locally heavy rain. This is the graph model showing again storms popping up around lunchtime, give or take a few hours, and then we're seeing clusters of thunderstorms. Those are going to be the storms. They're called discrete cells that we're going to have to watch for some rotation. Those could spawn a few tornadoes. So again, this is 330, still seeing those clusters moving across southeast Louisiana. And so it's not going to be widespread rain. They're going to be pretty uh, isolated to scattered, possibly even numerous. And then the late evening hours, 8, 9, 10 o'clock or so, a broken line of thunderstorms will move in from west to east. And here's around midnight. It might be a, a, an hour or so quick, but I do think, again, that main line will be to our east by then, but still plan on at least some wet weather for midnight. New Year's Eve weekend looking fine overall 64 tomorrow, clearing skies 58 on Saturday and then Sunday a high near 60. So again, today is a weather aware day. Be sure you stay up to date with us on NBC Local 33, BRProud.com and Fox 44. And then tomorrow into the weekend looking much better. Next week we're back in the upper 60s to around 70. Let's get a final check on the traffic this morning. Here's a look at the bridge and a 